nice off the shot. whistle. Wow, yeah, like in you deep. Said, right off the whistle. Nice finish right there. Came back the other way with it that time. Oh, on that Boy, I would think he would be able to take him over here. He's in pretty good position to run. Good one over to his there back. He does. he does. Now this is going to be tight. It in. There, there, you're going to see a fall here. For sure, you got to see a fall here. Come on, Cole. Oh. There it is. That's big right there. 4.06, the time of the fall for Corey Clark. You got to get back to that offense, Sorensen, yep. right away. Eight, eight to is. one. Head to the inside and dumps him nice. down, catches that elbow. Alex Meyer. Trying to elevate. Yep. Picks it up, dumps him down for two. See how quick and easy those finishes are when people come up to their feet with the leg and elevate it. Another intentional release by Brooks. Now he goes over under, throws him to his back. Trying to lock this in tight. He's got 57 seconds. Trying to get that arm situated just a little bit tighter. Looking to settle those hips in, pressuring across. Kurt Frost down there, it's close, but not quite. There's, There's the ball. ball. Nice job by Sam Brooks. Big thing for me is having consistency. Uh, you know, in, in every workout, coming the same way. So, you know, I think, I think that could have something to do with it. So I'm getting up for every match the same way. Uh, instead of having some highs and lows, I think I did last year, you know. Trying to stack him up, looking to come through, and almost gets out finish, that back door, finish, finish. trying to come across. Come on. He's got 15 seconds. Now he stands up, reaches across, trips nice. him down for two. Great flurry of action right there by Nathan Birak. Um, I guess just enjoying it more, being a little more, more self-talk and positive imagery, um, and just no kind of being relaxed, focused on my offense, my attack, um, which I've been getting better at, but even like, you can kind of see my second match was a little too rushed, was a little too tense, instead of being relaxed and letting my offense develop a little bit more. Well, there's two reasons why you do this. For the, you know, for the guys that are veterans, they get their feet wet a little bit more. You get a bunch of matches in, and that's good. It's good to wrestle. Um, the other one is, the other reason you do it is, is to see where your young guys are at. You can learn a lot from your young guys. And, and, then, and then reminders come out that it's not easy, even when you're wrestling competition that, you know, people from the outside looking in think it might be easy. And it's not easy. And so pace and, um, you know, staying sharp and doing things that are, you know, ahead of, um, you know, where your opponent thinks they're going to come from, meaning you're just, you're one step ahead of your opponent because of how you warm up and because of how you approach your competition. Those types of things are what's reinforced in a day like today. Very valuable from where I sit.